a new stadium is coming, but it's not going to be a downtown stadium. It's going to apparently they're thinking about making a new outdoor stadium in Orchard Park since the lease at Highmark is up in 2023. So there's going to be some overlap because the new stadium won't be ready as earliest until 2025. So there's the Bills have to play somewhere. And I don't really know how I feel about that. Some places like Penn State and some other place up in Canada have been, you know, say, have basically said, yeah, we'll, we'll host the Bills. So it's like, I, I just don't really know how I feel about that because it's not really a home game for the team if they got to travel to Canada or travel to Pennsylvania. I know exactly how I feel about it. Well, yeah, I know. I don't like it. I see the so if we're talking about strictly the venue style, I see the appeal for a downtown stadium. I really do. I really think that if done right, that could be really, really good. But I just don't think we have the infrastructure. And by say we, the city of Buffalo has the infrastructure at the moment to support something like that. And it's more economical to build in Orchard Park as opposed to building around the Skyway. <laughs> you know, like like right. that that would just be so difficult. And what do you who who are you gonna push out? Pearl Street Brewery? Yeah, are they gonna and, like and, they're gonna push it down by the uh, silos? Like well, I don't know. It's just it would be a lot. It would be a lot. Yeah, I mean so for me, I mean you're talking we already have I'm I'm out of touch with is it still Key Bank? He, uh, mm, no, I, the Sabers have lost me completely. Yeah, it's <laughs> well, you got not great. You, you got the hockey down there. You already have the Bisons down there, and there's there's a finite amount of space. Um, what I never really liked about the city of Buffalo idea being like being located downtown, is kind of just like the the tailgating aspect of it is. Like it's not just a Buffalo thing. Like people around the whole league know about Buffalo tailgates. Like if you talk about the Buffalo Bills and mm. somebody's a casual football fan, they're like, "Oh, tailgates!" You know. And I think it's just it's not just about a football game when people go to the stadium. It's it's a whole day experience. So for me, I I actually like the idea of still having the stadium in Orchard Park. What what I don't like is even if it's, you know, a couple of years, the the idea of having to play outside of Buffalo while they finish building it. And I was actually talking to somebody about this today, and I was like, you know, just a, as a Bills fan, the, like, what can go wrong might go wrong type of deal. I'm like, what, mm-hmm. if, what if they play elsewhere and, you know, it starts being a bigger market somewhere else, and the NFL is like, man, we want to relocate you. And they're like, well, the stadium's already going to be built, so they have to come back. I was like, they build Olympic stadiums all the time to use for one series of Olympic games, and that's it. Like, and look what I, it does to the economy of the yeah. host of the Olympics. Like that literally um, breaks them. I I think I think the Bills do need a new stadium. Um, I I know that's this is all kind of part of what goes into it. Mm-hmm. Um, the the other thing I don't really love about it is, uh, from what I've seen, they're planning on doing just an open air stadium um with the with some of the buffalo weather we get i mean we're talking all these all these locations that have bu- built new stadiums pretty much like get the super bowl the year after um i don't i still don't see the nfl putting a super bowl in buffalo if if they're you know prize of the whole season their biggest money maker could come down to you know a a blizzard in february in buffalo i mean mm-hmm. it's it's entertaining for like a regular season game and it's really fun to watch it's really fun to be a part of but when it comes down to it if you have the a two snowball. best teams in the league going at it you want to see the the two best teams at their best you know you don't want to see an offense like kansas city buffalo whatever with high-flying offenses that Pass fifty times a game. Now they're running it fifty times because they can't really throw the ball. So, 
Yeah. I'd like to see a retractable roof. You get the best of both worlds. Yeah. You know, a, retractor, a retractable roof does sound good. And then, on the other hand, I think to myself, well, the weather is a real competitive edge here in Buffalo. It really is. And, I mean, it, it's the same way I think about us going down to Miami in, early in the season. Like, that sucks. Like, that really just sucks. That's so hot and humid. But... Yeah, and, and I agree with that to an extent, but, yeah. like, also the Bills team that we're building right now and looking towards the future is, like, a high-octane high offense predicated on the pass. Yeah. So, like, do I love the snow games? Is it, like, what Buffalo Bills football is when people think about it? Yeah, mm-hmm. and and I love that aspect of it, but also I want the ball in Josh Allen's hands 40 times a game, and the weather can kind of you know, put a damper on that. Yeah. Well, all in all, I'm okay with the stadium. I really am. It's, it's, I, it, I, I'm, I'm just a ambivalent person when it came to this. Cause I could, I, I could honestly see the positives of both, both structure, uh, structure. So that's just how I feel.